I guess we have to acknowledge the salary cap shenanigans going in. It is a bit absurd that they were able to have a like heart trophy caliber player on their team just bracketed out of the salary cap. But at the same time, I feel like only a t- there's very few teams in the league that can say, hey, let's just take our best player off the roster for our entire regular season and we're that confident about making the playoffs like is Edmonton going to take Connor McDavid or Leon Dreisaitl out so they can make a playoff run no are the Washington Capitals going to take Alexander Ovechkin out no are the there's like I think Toronto could do it Colorado could do it and Vegas could do it but that's not really the way their roster is made up there's very few teams that can afford to take a cal- a player the caliber of Nikita Kucherov out of their lineup for a regular season, still the confidence just to make the playoffs. And you did see Tampa came third out of fourth in their division. So yeah. it does balance out a little. I've made my position very clear on this. I think we talked about it a little bit at the beginning of the playoffs. Not quite sure. A little fuzzy now. It's been a while. But Similar to the point you just made, if a team can make it the entire regular season, sitting their essentially best player, then they totally deserve to have him come back. The other thing is, it's the rules right now. They're not operating outside of the rule book. Everything they're doing is legal to a certain extent. Either that or there is kind of no rule yet. It's something the league will look at. But for now, every other team had the opportunity to do a similar thing. The Leafs actually did it with Freddie Anderson and Riley Nash and a couple other type things. Um, And there were another couple of teams who also took advantage of it as well. So everyone's on that equal playing field. Tampa actually has a disadvantage. They're missing their best player in the regular season and they managed to do it. And so what you really should be frustrated about is the fact that Tampa was able to go and get other guys with that extra cap that other teams didn't want to sign or Tampa had guys like Tyler Johnson that they put on waivers and no one claimed. It seemed like other teams in this league were tentative to try and take away from Tampa or or it's kind of like the Chicago Blackhawks of the mid 2010s, like teams, they just help them out for no reason. And this is the best team in the league. And so Tampa is able to acquire this depth and wealth of talent. And so the, the most notable thing is Kucherov obviously coming back and being a con Smythe runner up essentially, but it's a whole storm of incompetence on the behalf of other NHL GMs and, and not taking advantage of the rules to the extent that the lightning did. So that's where I stand on it. If you don't like it, tell the NHL to change it and good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. I think we might see some action on paying 25% of the cap hit sooner rather than later is that one a little probably more straightforward to target and something there's going to be motivation to do every year, whereas that's an incredibly specific injury timeline that matched up perfectly for the Lightning that gave them the opportunity to do that. So much more once in a blue moon thing. 